And the River State Government has directed the reopening of all markets in the state with effect from Tuesday next week from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. Governor Yesom Wike, who announced this in a statewide broadcast on Monday, stated that Rumukurushe oil mill and Oginiba slaughter markets would remain closed. He warned that as the markets resume business, they must operate in strict compliance with the established protocols on wearing of face masks, washing of hands, and maintaining social distancing. The governor explained that the government decided to lift the ban placed on markets to increase the tempo of economic activities in the state. And according to him, the ban on outdoor sports activities at the Port Harcourt Club, Golf Club, and the Port Harcourt Polo Club has also been lifted. The governor disclosed that the government was considering the request for approval and certification by some private laboratories to provide sample collection and testing services. And we're now joined by River State based public policy analyst Achi Williams Wobodo. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Bring us up to speed on how River State is as today and how the people are taking the news. Well, um, good morning. Uh, I think um, River State is calm. Um, the citizens are taking the news with some uh, degree of excitement, and uh, particularly those who are in uh, the informal sector who uh, are living through these markets and this uh, um, public um, space. So they've been very excited about the news. Uh, but uh, we cannot assess the impact of uh, how that will pan out in, in a couple of days because the markets have not been resumed formally, reopened formally in, eff in effect. Um, we hope that uh, the governor has reeled out protocol, but it's not just sufficient for, for, for him to say, uh, wear nose marks and wash your hands and, and all that. The Ministry of Health, we expect, and uh, those in charge of public health sector in the market should take some more proactive steps to ensure that those um, who default and those uh, protocols are not allowed into the market. For instance, uh, there should be um, spots around the market where people can actually physically wash their hands. And if individuals provide it, uh, what is the channel, how do they channel the wastewater that come out of all those um, 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 kind of activity. These are things that uh, we expect the Ministry of Health and um, the environmental health um, practitioners to take proper step about before um, opening the markets eventually. Well, does it seem like they are aware of these steps and they will be taking you know, um, them seriously? No, no, these are suggestions that I'm making. I, I'm, I'm saying that yeah. beyond the governor just making the pronouncement that the market should open, we expect that the Ministry of Health and um, the public health uh, practitioners who work around the state should ensure that these steps, these uh, protocols are properly put in place at appropriate places to um, ease off the effect that may come out of the reopening of the market. Yeah, I mean, these, these are your suggestions, you know, but it's also expected that the River State government should be aware of these things. Um, and, you know, that's why I was asking if these are things that you expect will actually be put in place by the Ministry of Health um, or, you know, we're, exactly. we're hoping that they would come in, into play. Exactly. We're hoping that they'll put those steps in place. Okay. Let, let's also talk about the... But so far, but so far, yeah. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. I said, but so far, citizens are happy with the news that the markets will be reopening. Okay. I also want to talk about the compliance level generally um, in the period of the lockdown. What was River State like? And do you expect that the citizens would also comply entirely with, you know, the new rules for going to the market? Well, in terms of compliance, if you want to measure, um, especially the use of nose marks here in River State, um, and compare it to, say, Abuja, for instance, you see that uh, the compliance level is um, a little um, low in River State. You, you find some people who are a bit lackadaisical about the, the, the way they wear the match. You find some people wearing it to cover just their, their mouth, and then some people just drag it within their chin, and then they move around the public space. That doesn't um, actually address 
uh, the issue. Yeah, face masks is not actually um, a, a form of faction that people will just put the mask there, uh, on their chin. We, I hope that with the reopening of the market and the way the government is going about um, enforcing the, the use of face masks, we expect that the, the uh, compliance level will, will increase um, with time. The governor also says that all sports and activities suspended will reopen as well. Um, it almost then seems like everywhere uh, will be fully opened in River State. How safe, you know, is this? And do you also feel like these are happening because of the desperate economic you know, situation uh, that the people of River State are dealing with at the, at the moment? Well, it may seem so, but if you look at the um, the sports uh, places that were open, they are not um, too much of um, uh, public space, so to speak. Um, the, the places that were open uh, were uh, golf course, Portaco Club golf course, Portaco Golf, uh, Portaco Club um, facilities. These are these are all facility for uh, the elites in society. Uh, people who go there to play golf are not uh, uh, not ordinary men in the street. So um, we we think that those who would go there are, uh, to some degree, people who are responsible enough to want to uh, comply with the with the uh, protocols. So I, I do not see how how much um, that will affect the generality of the uh, citizens because this, the popular parks. Uh, Isaac Boro Park, the park, the park that the governor built, all these areas are still locked up. These are the places that can uh, come, um, that can pull um, heavy crowds and all that. These places are locked. So for Portago Club, how many persons can actually go there in, in a day? Maybe 50, and then the golf course, another 50 and all that. So it's not um, high impact um, social gathering areas. Achi Williams Wobodu, thank you so much for speaking with us. And um, you know, like we said earlier, we hope that the Ministry of Health in Delta in uh, River State, I beg your pardon, will put those things in place for markets to fully reopen and for citizens to be safe. We hope to speak with you again. Thank you for having me this morning.